Hi guys, welcome to John Junkies. Today we are at RVX, so we have got special permission to come to the Dealers Expo. So they are going to show the newest of the newest and top of the line everything um, for those special dealers to get to sell these RVs. We're also excited to go to the Expo as well to see all the new accessories and tools and tricks and all the new things that go with the RVs as well. I might have found our next rig. This is the Lance Camper, and it would actually fit on our short bed F-350. I think it would look pretty good. I don't know if I'm quite ready to get rid of Goldie, but we could get to some places with this. Dometic has a new toilet. This is the Moderno Bowl. It comes in both uh, macerator and gravity designs. Really good for Class A or anywhere you have two bathrooms. Lots of times you're mismatching toilets, one for gravity and one for macerator. Uh, in this bowl design you get both. So now you can have a gravity and a macerator toilet in one unit and everything matches. It's a uh, flat back. Back here you don't see any, any wires. It's uh, straight up the back. Uh, it's tall size, so the height is 18 inches. We have uh, slow close uh, seat and lid. The lid here being a, a wraparound, kind of more European sleek uh, design. The bulb, uh, the contour is smooth, so uh, a little more hygienic to clean. Uh, you don't have any lips or areas for any yuck to build up. With this, we also have a new hand wave uh, flush switch. So we have a capacitive touch uh, unit, and we can also hand wave which will flush the toilet. We can both add water and we can flush without even touching the controls if we want to. And this switch is completely uh, backward compatible. So anybody who has a DFS unit today could switch this out, no remodeling. Uh, it's unplug the ethernet cable and plug this new design in. This is the new Dometic slide out kitchen, and this is the larger version. We also have a smaller version. This version slides out, I'll show you here, away from your RV. Imagine your, your sidewall would be over here and it would slide out. So then you can do prep on one side, you can do cooking on the other side. So it maybe even two people can work on this unit as well. There's extra storage underneath here. And this is a prep station here. You've got your cutting board, your three burners, the sink, a little bit more storage here. And then we also have some modular accessories. This accessory um, holder just clips right into the rail here, and you can put in different accessories. We've got a bottle opener and utensil holders. And then we also have a smaller version of this as well. It is um, about this big. And it slides out horizontally from the back of a unit or the side of a unit. It would be great for vans or some small or like travel pods or stuff like that. Um, about it. It's available in Australia right now, being produced in Australia. We're looking to bring it to the U.S. in Q3. So something that's really popular with this show are the little ones, meaning the little guy. They. Uh, are little but they have so many luxuries with them um, a lot of them have some kind of bathroom or shower or some just have the, the potty but they also have still your fridge your stove your oven man this little little one has a microwave still 
Um, you have your table that converts into a bed. So you have all the luxuries you need and still in a compact size. I think Carol wants one because they're cute. <laughs> so we're checking out the Taka Cricket and this one's the Mantis. They're an American company that makes really nice off the grid uh, trailers. They, uh, many of you are pricing the Cricket out. The Mantis is a new rig that they have. This is their prototype that just looks like a really solid built rig that can get you out boondocking in those places you want to go. campers or generic kind of pop-ups so this is your breakdown time that's it and so to deal with you know yellowstone and bam where you need a hard-sided you know camper all, all over the place although we have the pop-up you can do everything in here with the top down and locked and this is kind of it so So we have just walked into the Jayco Pinnacle. Um, we we're just looking at this interesting layout, something we haven't really seen yet. Um, this is the, I guess, the, the top, master bedroom. the master bedroom, the top of it. Um, they've replaced the closet with this really nice sitting area. Um, and if you haven't really noticed the spacing between your looks like a fireplace which is usually a dresser and the bed it's like a good what five feet here four four yeah four. something like that um reason of that is is because this is your original slide here and it usually stops there but you also have this extra little feature that goes out as well so you've got a, essentially a double slide right here giving you so much room up in this master kind of a cool feature and their bathroom looks pretty cool in this one too it's nice to see a new design in a bathroom because sometimes you just don't need a tub you just want yeah extended shower it's a nice big shower we're here at with hall gauge or hall logic um, we already tested out their hall gauge which was an awesome product and you you've seen our video on that probably they are also developing a new prototype here. So we have Cody here and he's gonna explain it to us. Yeah, so this is called Never Dump. It's made to be a black water tank replacement where uh, normally you've got just a regular ABS black tank, fills up with all your, your sewer water and uh, you gotta dump it out later, which is everyone's least favorite part of a trip. So we've gone and developed a black water tank drop-in where it collects that same sewage, but then it grinds it up, recirculates it, and it shoots it into this tumbling kiln that you can see here. And that kiln is powered by propane to burn everything up. And from there, all the water is evaporated, it turns to steam and it's let out, uh, and everything else is completely broken down. And it's treated by a catalytic converter, so we're just left with carbon dioxide and water vapor and that's let out in exhaust. So, shouldn't be any maintenance needed. Nobody needs to touch their, their toilet water anymore. So there's no yeah. dumping at all? Nothing at Everything all. Everything is just exhaust piped, basically. Yep. You got one exhaust pipe coming out, just letting out, like I said, water vapor and you know, carbon dioxide. That is cool. That's it. And eventually we're gonna be uh, later down the line, we're looking at releasing a gray water solution as well that helps to treat 
treat that gray water so that people won't have to deal with that either. And you're looking to get these in with the manufacturers, or is this something we could buy aftermarket and install? So it's not an aftermarket part. It, or an aftermarket part, it would be a drop-in on the factory. Line. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. So I guess we'll have to buy a new rig. <laughs> it's worth it though. Trust yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a really cool product. Awesome. Thanks, Cody. Yeah. We're here at the Pollock booth, and we all know how bad it sucks when you're out in the middle of nowhere and you blow a fuse. They have came up with a solution. Their fuses have a circuit breaker built into them. Hopefully you can see that without it being too blurry, if it focuses on it. But this way, you blow a fuse in your trailer, you can pull it out, flip the circuit breaker, put it back in, good to go. Or at least you can start figuring out maybe why you're blowing the fuse in the first place and still have an option. Pretty nice little um, thing to keep in your toolkit. Save you a lot of heartache when, it's, when you're out boondocking or going down the road or wherever else. So we are here with Pirate Heated Products and they have just shown us an amazing thing. This hose actually keeps your water from freezing. So it's literally warm to the touch and with this you don't have to worry about unplugging at night, remembering to re-plug your hose back on in the morning. Don't have to worry about it because hey, you're not gonna have frozen water in the morning. Full um, spigots and everything so that way it doesn't freeze up just getting to your hose. So they were just telling us that these are the heating element and then you have your ground element of course but it just runs right through your hose just like that. Okay. Cool product guys. Thanks. Is it Decolin? Yep. Correct. And they make a really cool new sealant and we all have those problems with our RVs of constantly resealing everything. So let's see what this does. So DecaSeal is a permanently elastic sealant, De self dabbing away, remains permanently flexible, seals the unit, seals the screws of where you put the unit in. You do not need to put any cap beads, silicone or otherwise around the unit. 100% water sealed, it dabs away itself. So cleanup is with the product. Just a ball the product you make, make the day before, pick up the ball and you clean the unit away. So no longer do you need silicone or any cap beading that you need to take a knife to the unit to cut away. 100% sealed the first time. It's the number one sealant sold in the RV caravan market in the European system for all the major manufacturers. It's a sealant that everybody should be using. We shouldn't be putting on things that you have to put a knife to the wall and it's self-cleaning. So where can people find this? They can get it from Decalin and we distribute it here in the United States. So it's available right here from our current distribution that we have here today. Awesome. Well, thanks for your time. You're welcome. Awesome. Cool product we just found. It's called RV Bug Stop. And it takes care of the problem that we all have that none of us have figured out how to take care of yet. When you open up your RV screen door and you leave that thing open and all the bugs get in. Now this, spring loaded, just retracts it back. That way you don't have the annoying husband leaving the door open or the slide part open and filling your house full of mosquitoes and having to squat all night long. Really cool product, comes out of Washington, Utah. So check them out, it's RV Bug Stop. All right, so we are just uh, kind of end capping this video um, here at RVX. We were able to see so many new things to come and designs and colors and just so many things. Yeah, lots of new products, new gear, all those sort of things that yeah, hopefully we'll get a chance to try. Mm -hmm. So as always, thanks for watching and enjoy your weekend.